<laughs> Lindsay, thank you. Now, it's not really great weather for getting out in the garden at the moment, but it is common knowledge that a tranquil outdoor space works wonders for your well-being. And a gold medal winning gardener is hoping to bring exactly that feeling to pensioners living in a Midlands retirement village. Plants that were part of her award-winning display at the RHS Flower Show in Chatsworth have been given a new home in an inner city part of Birmingham. Well, shafali has been along to take a look. A rooftop garden in inner city Birmingham. Who would have thought? Initially, this area was just a shell, looking tired and neglected, but now it's been transformed. And for the people here at Panelcroft Retirement Village, it's their haven. Nice place for residents to relax and socialise, you know, enjoy the ambience of the place instead of sitting in their balcony, twiddling their thumb. This will encourage them more to come out and enjoy the, the garden. The project has been organised and funded by Shakespeare Martineau, who support the charity running the village. And with the help of volunteers and a gold medalist garden designer, the work is almost complete. It's inspired by Hardwick Hall, which is a house in Derbyshire. And it's uh, an Eliz Elizabethan house and garden, famed for its herb garden. And so my design took inspiration from all different aspects of the garden and I stuffed it full of herbs to reference the herb garden at Hardwick. But this is just the beginning. The charity see projects like this having long-term benefits. At a time when we constantly hear about the impact of loneliness, the pressure on social and health care, this just shows you what happens when you bring people from different ages, different abilities together and get behind one project with a sense of purpose. And it's really good for everyone's mental and physical health. And I think Dennis would agree. We're retired and yet we're not retired, you know, and we just love to enjoy doing our own growing, we grow our own vegetables, we've got a team of 22 that volunteer to do it and all I have to do is just wag my finger at them. <laughs> Shafali Oza, BBC Midlands Today, Newtown. And fresh in out of the rain and off the rooftop, were you soaking wet out there today? And is, is the weather going to improve, Chef? That's what you we want to know. We're incredibly lucky, Nicola, because not a drop fell on us. Oh, wow. And uh, there was rain across the region, but there was also plenty of dry weather around as well. Uh, this was one of the driest places, Warwickshire, Polesworth in Warwickshire. We also had uh, the aftermath of last night's a pop apocalyptic amounts of rainfall. Uh, we had flash flooding here in Birmingham and uh, temperatures around 13 Celsius. That was the highest we got today, so actually they'd slipped since yesterday. Um, but we are looking at uh, an improvement in the days ahead, but we still have some rain uh, around. In fact, over the weekend there will be some rain on Saturday, some showers on Sunday. Temperatures will be picking up ever so slightly, but for a real improvement, we have to wait until the start of next week. And we'll see the outlook, hopefully, in just a moment. But uh, let's take a look at the uh, band of rain that's currently heading our way. It's to the west of us, and it's going to be pushing eastwards through the night. And again, that's going to have some heavy outbreaks packed within that, embedded within that. But uh, it'll turn a lot showery as we head into the start of uh, tomorrow and uh, certainly by the afternoon. And you can see there's another area of rain as well sitting out over the Irish Sea that's going to affect us by the time we get to Saturday. That's the one that's going to be moving eastwards. It's a narrow band of rain, so it won't affect us too much. But take a look at tonight's. It is going to be another very wet one. We'll see dry conditions again towards the southeast, but locally there are going to be some very heavy downpours. But at least we're out of the warning zone. Temperatures will range from 8 to 11 Celsius, so it's a mild night. The winds are fairly light as well, but those winds will be picking up as we head through the morning tomorrow and into the afternoon. Just a brisk breeze, but it's going to push that band of rain along quite quickly so by the afternoon as I say it's looking a lot drier and locally we're going to see some hefty showers perhaps containing some thunder. Top temperatures 15 to 18 Celsius, 19 is what we're aiming for that's the average for the time of year and a little higher would be nice um, but uh, I don't think we'll see that this week. Uh, we'll see that rain starting to fade away, those showers fading away tomorrow night and into the early hours of Friday, Saturday morning. But as I say, we've got another band of rain heading in for the west for the start of the weekend, followed by showers by Sunday. <laughs>